I always loved comedy, but I was was more into movies like you know Goodfellas and stuff like that. And so to me, it's just like there's not much opportunity when you're 21 to be in like films like that, right. you know. And also to break in, it's not like I look like Brad Pitt or something like that, or I was some unbelievable actor when I was a kid. You know, it's like so. I, comedy's been amazing because I don't think I would have broken into entertainment or film the film world without starring in movies like that. So right. I'm like super grateful and super bad as a movie I'm, you know, as proud of as Moneyball or Wolf of Wall. I think it's really held up and it's cool. But I think people have a really hard time seeing you as anything else if you ever do comedy. I think it's the one thing that's actually really interesting mm. is that if you make people laugh, it is very hard for them to see you not make them laugh. Every time I do a movie like Moneyball or Wolf of Wall Street or even War Dogs, people are, the interview, when I do all the press interviews, they're always like, wow, is this is a major transition for you. And I'm like, it just seems to be an interesting story because I think it doesn't. But you've been that transition like multiple, multiple times. I just love film. I, I you know, I, I really love dramas and comedies and hopefully you can blend them both like Goodfellas or Boogie Nights does in such a beautiful way. Um, so that would have been your dream movie to be in is Boogie Nights. Or Goodfellas. Got everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well. The, I mean, those are the two that, and Casino, you know, I, I think like those films are endlessly Casino, watchable. Casino, interesting. That's a more polarizing one than people, the other ones. People are wrong about Casino. Historically, they will be on the wrong end of history. It's about got the Casino. best Sharon Stone performance. It's a slept on movie in my opinion, you know? I agree, it's underrated. I still feel like Goodfellas is... The greatest movie of all time. Yeah, it's, it's I think, way up. There. Do you think it's? Do you think people? I feel like Ray Liotta might have really done coke in the in the last thirty minutes. I've never seen anyone more convincingly have a coke meltdown. <laughs> he's sweaty and he's got red eyes. Like, how do you act that? Uh, you just do. <laughs> I did so much fake cocaine in Wolf of Wall Street. I got bronchitis for three weeks. I had to be Seriously? hospitalized. Yeah. What is fake cocaine? It's vitamin powder. But it doesn't matter because if you ingest any matter, that much matter into your lungs, you will get very sick. And we were just literally doing fake coke for like seven months every day. I never had more vitamin D in my entire life. I think I could have lifted a car over my fucking head. <laughs>